Hey, hi, you guys. Welcome to Audrey's Reading Area. Shout out to my grandbabies, Korea, Sana, David III, and Kaden. I love you and miss you guys so much. Yes. Mwah. Much love. Yes, here at Audrey's Reading Area, please click that like button. Click that share button. Go on over to YouTube and smash, I said smash, that subscribe button for me. Smash it up, y'all. Punch it. Give it a nice little punch. Click it. Hammer it. Mm-hmm. Smack it up. Subscribe, you guys. Audrey's Reading Area. Now, yes, you know I always have uh, another fun and exciting book for you, especially on Multicultural Day. Multicultural Wednesdays. Yes. I have a special book that I'll be reading. It's called Anna Banana. 101 Jump Rope Rhymes. I probably won't be reading all of them, but some of them I do recognize from when I was little. I used to jump rope and recite rhymes as we jump rope. And so that's why I picked this for Multicultural Day Wednesdays. Yes, Multicultural Wednesday today. Because it's part of certain people's cultures to jump rope and rhyme with it. Well, a lot of you guys, you young guys don't do that now, but start jumping rope reading books, then there it is. So, yes, yes, yes. I know you guys have already subscribed. So, Anna Banana, 101 Jump Rope Rhymes by Joanna Cole. Illustrated by Alan Tigreen. So on the back it reads, Chickity, chickity, chop. How many times before I stop? One, two, three. It says, how many times can you jump rope? When they turn and you jump, that's one. You turn, you jump, that's two. This rhyme makes the game of rope jumping even more fun. It's a counting rhyme and there are a lot of others like it. There are also red hot pepper rhymes for jumping very fast. We used to jump very fast. We used to jump double dutch too. And rhymes for jumping in and out of the rope. Yep, I used to jump in and jump out. We just had so much fun growing up. Yes. There are even fortune-telling rhymes that answer questions and help you predict the future. The rhymes in this book began as a way to keep the rhyme while jumping rope. But they also lent poetry. I think they meant rhythm while jumping rope. But they also lent poetry and humor to the game. So it was fun because it rhymed and it made it more even more fun. Here are over 100 traditional traditional rhymes that will make rope rope jumping challenging and best of all fun. So we going to do this. If I recognize some of it, you already know I'll be singing it. I know I'm not the best singer in the world in the world, but you would probably enjoy Anna Banana 101 Jump Rope Rhymes. Compiled by Joanna Cole, illustrated by Alan Tigreen. And me, I'm just reading it. I'm just the reader. I'm delivering the message. So, let me see if there's, um, it says introduction. I'll put it up to the screen so you can read and pause and read. Children have been jumping rope for thousands of years. But for only a fraction of that time have there been jump rope rhymes. So go ahead, read and freeze so you can read it. It's very interesting. Oh, there's some more. There's some more. Read and freeze. Read and freeze. All right trying to get to the rhyming parts. Look at her jumping rope, all happy. That was me as a kid. I'm gonna probably start trying to jump rope again. It kind of keeps you in shape, keeps you young and fit. Straight jumping, straight jumping. Skill jumpers can do all sorts of fancy tricks. Well, back in the days and stunts, but often they prefer just plain jumping with a good rhyme to keep the rhythm going. Here are some favorite rhymes. I went upstairs to make my bed. I made a mistake and bumped my head. I went downstairs to milk my cow. I made a mistake and milked the sow. I went in the kitchen to bake a pie. I made a mistake and baked a fly. Wow. <laughs> you can hear how that kind of flows and as you're jumping and reciting this it helps you keep that rhythm 
to the people that's turning and to the people that's jumping. Standing on the corner chewing bubble gum, along came a beggar and asked me for some. <laughs> How cool is that? How cool is that? Standing at the bar, smoking a cigar, laughing at the donkey, ha ha ha. <laughs> Tomatoes, lettuce, carrots, and peas. Mother said you have to eat a lot of these. Mmm, y'all flowing with me, flowing with me. You got that rhythm flowing, yes. Ice cream a penny, a lump. The more you eat, the more you jump. Mm, mm, mm. Got my jump rope right here. This is my jump rope right here. Yes. Maybe I'll jump right after I read. <laughs> Ice cream, a penny, a lump. The more you eat, the more you jump. As I was walking near the lake, I met a little rattlesnake. He ate so much of jelly cake, um, it made his little belly ache. <laughs> they are fun and they're humorous. I won't go, oh, I heard this one before. I used to sing this one. I won't go to Macy's anymore, more, more. There's a big fat policeman at the door, door, door. He grabs me by the collar. It makes me pay a dollar, so I won't go to Macy's any more, more, more. A couple of the words were changed. That's why I hesitated a little. I was like, oh, but it kind of means the same thing. It was, I won't go to Macy's any more, more, more. There's a big fat policeman at the door, door, door. He'll pull you by the collar and make you pay a dollar, so I won't go to Macy's any more, more, more. Yes. Yes, brings back some memories. My boyfriend's name is Billy. He is so silly, silly. He has 49 toes and a pickle for a nose. And that's the way the story goes. I'm still stuck on the Macy's one. Wow. I won't go to Macy's and more, more, more. Cups and saucers, plates and dishes. My old man wears Coleco britches. Yellow belly, yellow belly, come and take a swim. Yes, by golly, when the tide comes in. A sailor went to CCC to see what he could see, see, see. But all that he could see, see, see was the bottom of the deep blue sea, see, see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All the, all good children go to heaven. Seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one. All bad children suck their thumb. Now we do know that's not true. That's just a rhyme. If you suck your thumb, it doesn't mean you're bad. Okay? Yes. Alice, where are you going? Upstairs to take a bath. Alice with legs like toothpicks and a neck like a giraffe. Alice in the bathtub. Alice pulled the plug. Oh my goodness, oh my soul, there goes Alice down the hole. She went down the drain, huh? I love coffee, I love tea, I love the boys and the boys love me. <laughs> Just little things that they said when they was jumping rope so far. Only one I recall. Postman, postman, do your duty. Send this letter to an American beauty. Don't you stop and don't delay. Get it to her right away. Mm. Johnny gave me apples. Johnny gave me pears. Johnny gave me 50 cent and kissed me on the stairs. I'd rather wash the dishes. I'd rather scrub the floor. I'd rather kiss the ice man behind the kitchen door. She didn't like that too much, huh? <laughs> She did not like that. Two in the middle and two at the end. Each is a sister and each is a friend. A penny to save and a penny to spend. Two in the middle and two at the end. Hmm. Blue bells, cockle shells, ivy, ivy over. This is a slow so, uh, sing-song rhyme for getting the jumping started. I re it sounds familiar, but it wasn't exactly those words. On the first line, the enders swing, the enders, the rope turners, swing the rope back and forth near the ground without making a full turn. On the word over, they swing the rope up and over and start reciting a rhyme. 
Okay, and there's all the two who turn the rope. That's what I told you. So this is a slow rhyming song on the first line. The enders swing the rope back and forth and near the ground says on the word over, then you go over. So I'm gonna do it as I'm saying it, right? I'm gonna try. Two in the middle and two at the end. Each, oh no, no, sorry, wrong one. Blue bells, cockle shells, ivy, ivy, over. Yes, and then you can start singing the other ones once they start jumping. We got it, we got it, we did 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 it. How many? It's a challenge to see how many times you can jump without missing. Here are rhymes for counting the number. Chickity, chickity, chop. How many times before I stop? And then you start counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You just keep going until the person messes up. Candy, candy in the dish. How many pieces do you wish? One, two, three, four, five, six. And you keep counting until that person messes up. My mother made a chocolate cake. How many eggs did it take? One, two, three, four, five, six. Of course, you keep, as long as that person keeps jumping, you keep counting. Hello, 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 sir. Meet me at the grocer. No, sir. Why, sir? Because I have a cold, sir. Where did you get the cold, sir? At the North Pole, sir. What were you doing there, sir? Counting polar bears, sir. How many did you count, sir? One, two, three, four, five, six. And keep counting as long as they keep jumping. Now, that one I was a little off the beat with. I know, I know. That's cute, counting the polar bears. My little sister dressed in pink, washed all the dishes in the sink. How many dishes did she break? One, two, three, four, five. Every time my head goes down, that's somebody like jumping. How many dishes did she break? <laughs> like one, two, three, four. And you keep jump, you keep counting as long as you're turning and somebody is still jumping. My old granddad, granddad made a shoe. How many nails did he put through? One, two, three, four, five, six. And you keep turning the rope and counting as the person continues jumping. This is fun, right? Here comes teacher with a big, a great big stick. I wonder what I got in arithmetic. One, two, three, four. And you keep counting as they keep jumping. Here comes teacher yelling. Wonder what I got in spelling. One, two, three, four. Keep counting as they keep jumping. Teacher, teacher. Oh, so tired. How many times were you fired? One, two, three, four. And keep counting. Till the person stops jumping, messes up. Yes. <laughs> How cool is that? Cinderella dressed in yellow went downstairs to kiss her fella. How many kisses did she give? One, two, three, four. And you just keep counting and turning as they keep jumping. Cinderella dressed in lace went upstairs to powder her face. How many puffs did she use? One, two, three, four. And you keep turning as the person keeps jumping. Now there's more Cinderella's. I guess you can read it. Yes, you can read it. Pause and read it. Oh, wow. I don't know any of these. I'm so surprised as much as I jump rope. I was born, I'm gonna skip a little. I was born in a frying pan. Can you guess how old I am? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, four. And you keep, 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 keep counting and turning that rope as long as they are jumping. Let's see. Um, mother, mother, I am sick. Send for the doctor, quick, quick, quick. Doctor, doctor, will I die? Yes, my dear, and so will I. How many coaches will I have? One, two, three, four, five, six. Keep counting and turning as the person is jumping. We're doing jump rope today. Charlie Chaplin sat on a pin. How many inches did it go in? One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight. Keep counting and turning as the person keeps continues jumping. So I'll show you some more on the screen and you can pause and read and pause and read. Because there's a lot in this book. There's red hot peppers, meaning person is jumping real fast, like double dutch or jumping real fast, straight roll, straight roll. None of these look familiar either. I will let you read it and you can you can make up your own rhythm to it. Mabel, Mabel, set the table just as fast as you are able. And that's, yeah, just keep going. And here's another one, another page where you can just pause and read. I'm a little Dutch girl dressed in blue. This one says actions. Can you reach down and touch the ground while jumping? Oh, yes, I used to do that too. I, I, I probably get stuck going down now like, I'll go touch the ground and somebody have to help me up or something. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Did all of this stuff when I was young. It says actions, can you reach down and touch the ground while jumping? These rhymes ask you to do all kinds of things without missing a beat. So here's some of the other ones and here are the action ones. And you know, I'm going to sing some of them. I'm a little Dutch girl dressed in blue. Here are the things I like to do. Salute to the captain, bow to the queen. Turn my back on the submarine. I can do the top dance, the tap dance. I can do the split. I can do the polka polka just like this. Aw. If I was jumping, you would see. Spanish dancer, do the split. Spanish dancer, give a kick. Spanish dancer, turn around. Spanish dancer, get out of town. And that's when you jump out of the rope get out of town teddy bear teddy bear turn around this one i remember teddy bear teddy bear turn around teddy bear teddy bear touch the ground teddy bear teddy bear show your shoe teddy bear teddy bear that will do teddy bear teddy bear go upstairs teddy bear that's when you like lift your knees a little higher teddy bear teddy bear say your prayers teddy bear teddy bear turn out the light Teddy bear, teddy bear, say good night. Good night, and you jump out. Fun times, fun times. Apple on a stick, five cents a lick. Every time I turn around, it makes me sick. That's another one. Yes, I love it, I love it, teddy bear. And these are some more. Benjamin Franklin went to France. And jelly in the dish. These are more. Bubble gum, bubble gum, yes. Two little sausages frying in the pan when when one went pop and the other went bang wow that says there's two players jumping together on the word pop one player jumps out on one side on the word bang the other player jumps out on the other side see this is the fun stuff that i used to do oh i'll let you see pause and read it you can pause it anytime you like pause it and read Oh. Fudge, Little White Rabbit, Oliver Jump, Dolly Dimple. So I'm going to show you all of these so you can pause, read it, and you can do it. Trying to save some time because there are a lot of rhymes in this book. And we don't have all of that time. Blondie and Dagwood. Oh, that's the, the uh, cartoon. Blondie and Dagwood went to town. Blondie bought an evening gown. Dagwood bought a pair of shoes. Cookie stayed home to watch the news. And this is what it said. Close your eyes and count to ten. Uh, if you miss me, you take an end. Okay, so you jump out and you go around and you go on the end. Because we used to have people lined up to jump in. And once you jump out, you go around back on the end. Anna Banana played the piano. All she knew was the Star Spangled Banner. Banana, banana, split. Now's the time to miss when the Enders chant a rhyme, the Turners, about missing. They may speed up and try to make the jumper trip. I would never do that. That hurts. 
or the jumper herself may miss on purpose. She can choose to step on the rope, put her foot on either side of it and stand still or just run out. Because sometimes when they're singing a rhyme, you don't want to get to the part where they say, you know, so you just jump out. Andy Mandy Sugar Candy, now it, now's the time to miss. Jump rope, jump rope, will I miss? Jump rope, jump rope, just watch this. Miss, miss, little miss, miss. When she misses, she misses like this. She miss, she miss, she miss like this. That was something we did, but it wasn't in the jump rope. We would crawl across our legs and jump. She miss, she miss, she miss like this. And if everybody was on the same, like either crossing their legs or straight, the one who wasn't like, like that had to go out. It was just some fun stuff we did as a kid. Now's the time to miss. Yes, no, maybe so. I know a woman and her name is Miss. And all of a sudden, she goes like this. <laughs> yes, no, maybe so. Some rhymes ask a question followed by a list of possible answers. The choice may be a simple yes, no, yes, no, or it may be a list of colors, houses, or numbers. The word you happen to miss on is the answer. And we had something where you would jump out, like if they were, they were um, counting up and you had to jump out on your birth date. And so, yeah, that was fun. Hmm. Let's see. Let me show you these. These are so cool, so much fun. Tell me the name of your sweetheart. <gasps> Another one that I know. There are lots of fortune telling rhymes that predict only one thing. The first letter of your future's, future sweetheart's name. Strawberry apple, my jam tart. Tell me the name of your sweetheart. A, B, C, D. And you would just kind of jump out on the one that you wanted. That was one of the ones that I was talking about. Um, or you would just keep going until you messed up and then that would decide the first initial of the person that you would be with. Raspberry, raspberry, raspberry jam. What are the initials of my young man? A, B. C, D, E, F, G, H. And you would, wherever you mess up, that, that's where it was. Strawberry shortcake cream on top. Tell me the name of my sweetheart. A, B, C, D. Obviously, that's one I know. I know this one. Strawberry shortcake cream on top. Tell me the name of my sweetheart. Yep. Apples, peaches, cream, and butter. But that strawberry shortcake one brought back some nice memories for me. You guys can sing that as you jump rope. And when you mess up, you, you end up, you can go to Z and you can go all the way around again. The alphabets all over again. Once you get to the end, start all over again. It was fun. Fortune teller, please tell me what my husband's name will be. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Wherever you mess up. That's what it be. <laughs> Red, white, and blue. Stars shine over you. Red, white, and yellow. Who is your fellow? Red, white, and pink. Who do you think? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Like that. <laughs> in and out. So jumping in and out of the ropes is fun. Yes, it is. It is. If you can do it gracefully. Yep. Many in and out rhymes let the jumper call in a friend by name. Rooms for rent, inquiry within. As I move out, let Rachel come in. That is what I'm talking about. I'm going to name one of my friends we used to jump with. Room for rent, inquiry within. As I move out, let... I'm going to say my sister. Paula jump in. Let Paula come in. In spin, let Laura come in. Out, spout. Let Laura go out. So that's when you would just jump out. How cool. How cool is that? Can you see? In and out. Man, my friend Kim. Let Kim come in. Let me sing that again with my friend Kim's name. 
Because, man, when I tell you we did some jump rope and some handball. But this book is about jumping rope, so we just talk about this. Room for Rent, Inquire Within. As I move out, let Kim come in. Hmm. That's what I'm talking about. <clears throat> now, none of these look familiar. So I will let you read it. I love coffee. I love tea. I want Kimmy to come in with me. So, yes. Dancing Dolly has no sense. She bought a fiddle for 18 cents. But the only tune that she could play was Kim. Get out of the donkey's way. So they wanted that person to jump out. So pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff. These are a lot of these little rhymes. Yes. I wish we all still jump rope. I used to teach in my subdivision where I live. I used to teach the kids how to jump rope. We had so much fun. Shout out to all of you guys. All my kiddos from, yes, from where I used to live. Yes, shout out to all of you guys. Y'all know who y'all are. And even some kids that didn't live in the subdivision, but you were friends with my daughter and you came by. We played, played, played. Some sources on where to find more. Jump rope rhymes. Look at this person jumping rope. I love this picture. Because that's kind of how it feels when you're jumping. But I was, I have a smile on my face. I didn't look confused like that. But the end, you guys. The end of Anna Banana 101 Jump Rope Rhymes. I hope you guys had as much fun listening to it as I did reading it. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Shout out to my girls, um, Elide, my cousin, and Victoria, my, my good, good, good friend. And shout out to my mom for always being here till the end because I can rhyme and I know it. You say it and I can show it. I'm just saying. <laughs> Shout out to all of you guys that's sitting here listening to me read. Thank you, thank you, thank you for lo your love and support. Thanks for sharing this video. Thanks for liking this video. And thanks for going to YouTube and click it, click, 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 smash, smash, smash in that subscribe button for me. I will see you again tomorrow live. L-I-V-E, live at 8, you guys. Alexa, what time is Audrey's reading area? Audrey reads in her area live at 8 o'clock p.m. Live at 8, you guys. Live at 8. Well, all right, all right, all right. I will see you soon. Here at Audrey's Reading Area. Audrey's Reading Area.